Hey, good morning and, uh, well, afternoon, depending on where you are. My name is Mark Harvard. I'm the Director of Marketing here at, uh, at Church Visuals, and I am so happy to be hanging out with you today. We've got some cool stuff to talk about, and a big part of it is uh, involving the church visuals of your church and, and asking the question, what's the best way to make your church visuals match what's going on with the rest of your church. A lot of times, churches spend a lot of money in branding. Churches spend a lot of money in trying to make sure that their visual representation outside the church doors matches what's inside the church doors. And also, they try to create that synergy within your in your uh, ministries. You know, you want to have some sort of flow going from your web campus to your in-person campus to your kid ministry. You want to try to have some sort of string that kind of goes along with all of that. And we're going to talk a little bit about how you can use ready-made visuals to make that happen. So before we go any further, let me share my screen with you, give you a little insight into the madness that is my desktop. It's actually really locked down and really uh, clean right now. So so don't uh, don't fret on that. Um, but yeah, here we go. Here's the uh, all of the uh, the big screen here. It's like a little inception thing happening right there. What? <laughs> I'll close that and get that out of the way. And you see the dark, spooky woods. And I will click on the folder marked Gardener. Now, the Gardener is a an Easter campaign that we have been using a uh, we, we've really been put really been excited about this campaign there's a version for the full church there's a version for your kid ministry and it is beautiful it's one of my favorite things that the gang here has put out our illustrator our editors they've done a fantastic job with this thing and um when i, I tell you when you download it from our site at churchvisuals.com when you do download it the first thing you want to do is grab this little file right here, font list. You open this thing up and it tells you what fonts are needed for this series. This And uh, you, we can tell you where to get them. The Retrology Clean, that's a purchase. It's pay for that font at elements.envato.com. Uh, Adele Simi Bold, and you can activate that one as a part of your Adobe uh, subscription if you have Adobe uh, software there. So... Let's jump right into it, and I'll pull up first this square social media placard, The Gardener. It goes along with your your mini movies, that your uh, your uh, countdowns that are part of this package, and this is a social media post that's shaped for Instagram, but you can use it other places as you feel like you need to. Um, and you you know you say, hey, well, don't forget The Gardener is uh, coming up on uh on sunday don't forget to be a part of this come be a part of this as we talk about uh you know you know things growing in god's garden you know all that so uh, that's the uh the original graphic but say you need to make something else you don't want to lose this feel here so we've also included a blank graphic that allows you to have just this whole big old blank canvas right here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull this into Photoshop. You don't have to have Photoshop to pull it in. You can pull it in to uh, Adobe Express. You can pull it into Canva and edit all of this stuff. And uh, say you wanna uh, just do a quick invitation post. So we'll say, um, we'll see you Sunday at 11 a.m. for worship exclamation part because we're happy and excited first thing we're going to do let's swap this over to a black and we see that my missed typo there that's not the font that we need for this so we'll come pick the correct oh semi bold and right now we're set there you go all right so center that uh, maybe create a little bit of definition here by making the time a little bigger 
And there you go. And that also leaves room for your church's logo right there. You should pull that in to whatever graphic editing program you're using. Super easy, super simple. And see, like within you know less than two minutes, we've got a great post ready for you to use for your social media. Good stuff. So let's get back out. Of, I've actually got a couple more examples we're going to skip through. Don't save because we don't want to alter this this item. Um, say you're looking for some engagement with social media. Well, we've got another uh, question and answer post that you can do, you can use. And maybe may get back out a little bit. Notice this, we have different sizes in our social media platforms. Uh, we've got a uh, version for Facebook. Uh, this orientation also, if you want to use it for uh, your screens on a Sunday morning, your intro screens your, uh, for people who are coming in, just a little happy fun thing. Uh, we've also got different uh, versions for Instagram and different versions for stories for your Instagram stories, your Facebook reels, uh, stories, your uh, your TikTok and all that. Put some music underneath, maybe the chicken dance. I don't know. Be crazy. Be a little kooky. Um, but yeah, which do you prefer at Chick-fil-A? Classic sandwich or spicy sandwich? Now, in my house, I'm the only one in my house that enjoys things that are spicy, but I like the spicier, the better. Come on with it. Let me have it. Spicy, the better. The rest of my, my family, my wife, my son, my wife's entire family, they're kind of wimps when it comes to this sort of thing. And they uh, they like uh, the classic stuff, the bland, uh, and the no heat to it, that sort of stuff. But I'm the outlier. So I would vote, I would vote spicy. They would all vote classic. But maybe, maybe you don't want to rate Chick-fil-A. So we come up here, we choose our type tool, we click on the text, and we just say uh, Popeyes. The next, is it apostrophe? I think so. Uh, we say, which do you prefer at Popeyes? The classic or the spicy? Um, let's go back to, I'll just undo that. We'll just chick. Uh, maybe we don't want to rate the uh, the sandwiches. Maybe we want to say nuggets or tenders. Huh? Maybe. Um, who was it? Was it uh, was it John Christ, the comedian, who talked about how do you actually get more chicken if you get the tenders than the nuggets because the nuggets have those cuts and they put breading on the inside. That takes up weight. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, but it makes sense to me for some reason. So I, I guess it depends on what, what, what are you there for? Are you there for the chicken? You're there for the breading. Breading's not bad either. So yeah. But that's, a, that's an option right there for some good engagement posts that you've got. And once again, you can add your church's logo here in the top left, bottom right, or maybe some details across the bottom maybe. Um, I can actually, let me cut over to a, here and just put a um, um, join us Sunday morning to give your vote, exclamation point. We're excited about it. So there. Nice and customized. We can do what we want and super easy. Uh, one last one before we get out of here, because I really want to uh, show this. Now, a little bit ago, I'm going to go back to the gardener thing. A little bit ago, my boys, uh, Sheik and Steve-O, they did a pro presenter power talk about alpha channels. When you're streaming, when you're putting things up on your big screens with your iMac, um, We've got an option for that on a lot of our packages, and I'll just bring it down here for you and show you this. This is something you could load into ProPresenter and put up as an alpha channel, and I'll go ahead and just open it up in Photoshop and change this over to just add Mark Harvard. 
door. Make it a little bit smaller here because this doesn't need to be that big. It's just a little old me. Um, it needs to be a little bigger just to differentiate the title from the... Yeah. So there you go. You've got... Now you have titles for your big screens, your, your iMag screens, and titles for your stream. That will match the bumper video, the, uh, the series video, and the mini movie for that as well. You've got items in that pack for all of your uh, your title screens, everything go behind lyrics, everything goes together. And like I said, I think I mentioned this before, there's also a kids version. So even your kid men can be a part of this whole big church-wide thing. It's the coolest thing. I, I love when we're able to create this kind of synergy between ministries. It really does excite me. So I come over here, and uh, this is another social media. And once again, I want to point out that we've got tall ones over here for your stories, your Instagram, your your Facebook. We've got wide ones for use on Facebook as a post. Or even this orientation might work with your screens, depending on what kind of orientation you're rocking there. And then your 1080s by 1080s. Of course, these are for Instagram. But let's zoom in. And say you want to edit some of this text a little bit. You choose your type tool over here. And say you want to put Hosanna on its own line. Well, that stretches it out horribly, so let's don't do that. Let's just make that center justified. We'll put Hosanna on its own line there. Uh, let's, make it, uh, let's make it a little bigger. Because we're excited. Hosanna is a big deal. And then we can actually pull that in like that. Change the whole dynamic of the graphic. And then once again, you can throw a, a, a logo. I would suggest if you've got an inverse logo, say maybe your logo is maybe a navy blue on a white background, always have an inverse logo there. It's white on a navy blue background. That way you can, for something like this, you can pull the white version, the white transparent version, and pop it in right here on this bottom left-hand corner. That seems to be a little empty because you've got the squiggly lines on the top right and the bottom left. Pull this in, pop it in on that bottom corner. It will look sweet. So there you go. Okay. Let me get out of that. Don't save. And we will get full back there. Man alive, it is so easy to do stuff like this, and I am so thrilled that you were able to join us today on the webinar. Hey, coming up next, in the next couple of weeks, keep your eyes open, because we've got one, uh, it's one of our Verses series, where we're going to be uh, you, uh, basically going through the different uh, video editing programs, and talking about what's better for entry level, what's better for you to use to manipulate other parts of some of our offerings at church visuals, countdowns, that sort of thing. We're going to be uh, basically doing a face-off, a versus Final Cut Pro versus uh, Resolve versus Adobe Premiere. So make sure you're keeping an eye open for that event. It's going to show up right here in the group. If you've got a friend that you want to invite to the group, I would love to be able to hear from them as well. And uh, yeah, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And uh, thanks for joining us here for another webinar right here from Church Visuals. Have a fantastic week, guys.